Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. Tesla Cybertruck is dead in what must be the most shocking news story of the year. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed production of the long-awaited Cybertruck has been cancelled. To start the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for more update. The reason? Ongoing development costs have far exceeded the original budget. The controversial-looking EV truck is no longer a viable business case. Very sad to say we've made the tough decision to cancel our Cybertruck, Elon Musk said. I know there will be plenty of disappointed customers and all pre-orders will be promptly refunded. The decision was made in the best interest of Tesla and its future. Despite lacking a PR department, inside sources at the California-based automaker are quietly saying Musk studied the numbers and ultimately determined that the currently under construction Gigafactory in Austin, Texas will be better suited for only Model Y and Model 3 production. Originally, Austin was tasked with building both the Cybertruck and Model Y, but demand for the Model 3 continues to rapidly increase. Furthermore, the Cybertruck's delayed launch and behind-the-scenes issues would have resulted in a much higher price tag than initially announced. When the Cybertruck concept debuted back in 2019, Musk promised a base price starting at $39,900 for the rear-wheel drive model. The all-wheel drive version would begin at exactly $10,000 more. Material costs, in general throughout the auto industry, have increased over the past couple of years since the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. The ongoing war in Ukraine is not helping matters. Tesla very recently increased the Model Y's price tag. The cheapest long range begins at $62,990 a $20,000 increase over the standard range, and now needs to redirect the Cybertruck's development budget to avoid additional price hikes for its bread and butter vehicles. Another reality we think might have factored into Tesla's decision is that legacy OEMs like Ford and GM have beaten it to the EV truck market. The F-150 Lightning's downright affordable starting price is something Tesla can no longer match. Tesla is also anxious to enter the delivery business with vans, a market segment analysts predict will explode by the decade's end. Vietnamese carmaker makes bold and risky move to challenge Tesla. Ford this Vietnamese electric vehicle, EV, manufacturer has big ambitions on US soil. It's a bold and risky bet but it sends a clear message to local vehicle manufacturers. The cards for the American electric vehicle market are not yet completely distributed. There are still places to take, and cards yet to fall. Vietnamese electric vehicle maker VinFast has decided to challenge Tesla, Ford Motor Company, get General Motors Company report. Class A report and Lucid Group. Report on American soil. VinFast will build a factory in North Carolina this year. This production site will be located in Chatham County's Triangle Innovation Point megasite, covering an area of 800 hectares, with three main areas, electric cars and buses production and assembly, EV batteries production, and ancillary industries for suppliers, the company said in a press release. Construction of the site will start after obtaining the necessary permit, says VinFast, which hopes to start producing cars there in July 2024. The initial capacity is expected to be 150,000 vehicles per year. The group will initially invest $2 billion to sell cars to Americans. North Carolina's strong commitments in building a clean energy economy, fighting climate change, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions in transportation make it an ideal location for VinFast to develop its premium, smart, and environmentally friendly EVs, said Lati Tu Tui, VinGroup Vice Chair and VinFast Global CEO. Having a production facility right in the market will help VinFast to proactively manage its supply chain, maintain stabilized prices and shorten product supply time, making VinFast's EVs more accessible to customers, contributing to the realization of local environmental improvement goals. However, the manufacturers of electric vehicles that have sought to enter the American market by building factories there in recent years have either failed or given up on a large part of their ambitions. This is the case of Fisker Automotive Inc. Class A report which had to file for bankruptcy after the collapse of its battery supplier. Faraday Future Intelligent Get Faraday Future Intelligent Electric Inc. Report, which launched to great fanfare in 2014, is currently mired in investigations into statements made by its executives. The group has still not managed to market a vehicle. Faraday also sold land purchased in Nevada where the automaker planned to build a factory. Headquartered in Hanoi, Vietnam, VinFast, founded in 2017, said it's a global producer of premium automobiles. North Carolina will be its second plant, 
The other one is a vehicle production facility in Haiphong, Vietnam, that will have the capacity to produce 950,000 vehicles per year by 2026, according to the company. VinFast has also established operations in Canada, Germany, France, and the Netherlands. The company currently provides an ecosystem of EV products in its home country of Vietnam, including e-scooters, electric buses, electric cars, charging station systems, and green energy solutions, according to a press release. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for more update.